Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on these Fantex PHTC 14 CS CPU coolers. And according to Fantex, they come in these colors black, white, and blue, as well as red and orange. And one more thing I'll be talking about is this PHF140TS black 140 millimeter case fan. A couple of things I want to note before getting into the box. This cooler supports Intel LGA 2011, 1155, 1156, 1366, and 775 sockets, as well as AMD FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, and AM2 sockets. It also comes with a PWM adapter, which I will talk about when I go over the accessories. It comes with PATS, which is Physical Antioxidant Thermal Shield. It'll give you better cooling performance and it'll also deflect heat from your other um, heat sources, such as your other components. And also CPSC, which is Cold Plasma Spring Coating Technology, which will enhance the thermal conduct conductivity on the surfaces of your heat pipes. A couple specs that I want to go over. You get your dual 140 millimeter fans and they have RPMs of 1300. And the max airflow for that is 88.6 CFM, max air pressure is 1.37 millimeters, and acoustical noise is 19.6 decibel. And with the PWM ad adapter attached, these are the numbers that you get. One last thing I want to mention is that for clearance issues, if you're curious, the, uh, the heatsink with the dual fans attached measures 160 millimeters long, 151 millimeters wide, and 140.5 millimeters tall. These are the accessories included in the box. First up, you get some user manuals in various uh, different languages. And they've included a hex wrench for you. This is the PWM adapter, which stands for Pulse Width Modulation. And if you have a four pin connector on your motherboard that is PWM enabled, you'll be able to use this adapter. This is the accessories bag. And what I love about all these little baggies is that they're all individually labeled. So you'll know what goes with what. So let's just take all the contents out of the here. Inside, you get some fan inserts, fan clips, thermal paste with applicator fan splitter and these rubber strips that you um, pad onto your heatsink. This is the Intel LJ2011 uh, packet of screws. That's all you need for the installation. And oops, this is falling out. This is your Intel baggie. Let me just take the contents out. This is a bag of your uh, screws, nuts, and, oh sorry, yeah, screws, studs, and nuts. Here is your Intel backplate and your retention plates. Last thing is this AMD set. This is a lot simpler um, in terms of installation, but uh, here it is. These are your retention plates, screws, and uh, white studs. Here's a rundown on how to mount everything. We'll start off with the Intel LJ2011 installation. You'll need these studs, retention brackets, plates, and these nuts. So first, screw this onto your motherboard. Then take this retention plate. Uh, oops, not this one. Put the screw through here. And, and then screw this nut on. Just like this, and you'll be done. Well, tighten it, of course. And for all other Intel sockets, you'll need this back plate. First, you'll want to push this screw through the correct hole, depending on which socket you're using. Then put this stud on top. The retention plate comes next. And finally, the nut. Screw it into place nice and tight, and you're good to go. Finally, for the AMD set, this is the simplest of all. Uh, you'll mount it. Uh, with the retention plates facing this way and all you have to do is place a screw through this one hole here and the stud just below it and screw it in nice and tight. You'll have to use the um, AMD stock back plate that comes with your AMD motherboard. Here's another look at the heat sinks in their various colors. The white one, blue one, and finally, the black one. 
is my favorite. I think it's, it looks super cool. And it comes with aluminum fins, five copper heat pipes, and a copper contact plate. Let me just peel this back so you can see how smooth and shiny that is. They've also included a, a mounting uh, bracket here for you that is compatible with all sockets, so you won't need to remove it. And here are the two color-coordinated 140 millimeter fans that come with the uh, heatsink. You'll be able to mount one on the bottom as well as one on the top. Or for clearance issues, such as maybe you want to include taller dims, you could remove the bottom one. You'll lose some air, but uh, you'll still have the top fan or you can just have the bottom fan. And both of the fans use three pin connectors. I'm gonna do a quick demo on how to install the uh, fan clips onto your fan. First, you'll need to push in these inserts through here and this point here. <clears throat> then you wanna line up the holes so that your clip will go in easily. <clears throat> Just take the clip like this and thread it through. Give me a moment to just push it through here. There we go, perfect. Then place it onto your heat sink and clip it into place. This is a 140 millimeter fan and it's a UFB bearing, which is updraft floating balance bearing. And it has nine blades with a Maelstrom Vortex booster design, which is a very fancy name. And it has these uh, rubber pads here to reduce vibration that they've inserted. And it comes with 400 millimeters of cable length, which is 15.7 inches. And, and it has a three pin connector. Let me just set this down so I can talk about the accessories. Here we have a three to four pin Molex plug, I mean adapter. And here are your two QSA adapters. The black one will, will reduce your uh, 1200 RPM to 900 RPM, and the white one to 750 RPM. And this interesting piece is a thermal bracket. You, um, and this is used to cool your GPU, motherboard, as well as other internal components. What you do is mount your fan to it, just like this, and then mount the entire configuration um, onto the sides of your PCI slots. I'll show you in just a little bit. Finally, we have this uh, baggie of your mounting screws and anti-vibration uh, rubber compensators. I haven't screwed anything in, but here's a demo of, a, of the uh, installation placement. So um, all you have to do is take this setup here, and you see these two screws here. Line them up just like this and bolt it into place. And that's it. That wraps up our overview on these Fantex PHTC14CS CPU coolers in black, white, and blue, as well as this PHF140TS case fan. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.